Hello guys, today's topic is syllogism and we are going to learn how to solve any syllogism in a minute without using Venn diagram. So let's see about the basics of syllogism. There are four possible types of statements in any syllogism problem. First, all x are y. This type of statement are called universal affirmative. No x are y. This type of statement is called universal negative. Some x are y. This is particular affirmative. And some x are not y. This is particular negative. Now, let's learn the most important part, the symbols. Please listen carefully to understand and memorize properly before proceeding. We will basically use three signs. A tick mark for the whole set, a cross mark for a subset, and a colon in between if the sentence is negative. So the first type, all A are B. It means the whole set or the complete set of A belongs to the set of B. Here we are not sure whether the complete set of B belongs to A or not. So we will put a tick over A as we have information about the complete set of A and a cross over B as we only have a information on a subset of B. Second type, no A or B. This statement means no element from complete set of A belongs to the complete set of B. It also means the vice versa, no B or A true. So the symbol for this type will be tick over both A and B. As we have information about the both complete set of A and B. And we will put a colon in between as it is a negative sentence. Next type. Some A are not B. It means we have taken a subset of A to check them against the complete set of B. And there was no match. It is a negative sentence as well. So the symbols will be a cross over A as we have information about a subset of A and a tick over B as the information is valid for complete set of B. We will put a colon in between as it is a negative sentence. The last type of statement, some A are B. Here we have subset of A which belongs to a subset of B. So the symbols will be cross over both A and B. Now, let's learn the most important. Now, let's learn a few things about statements and conclusion before proceeding to the method. Any syllogism problem must have at least two sentences. The first one is called major premise. The second one is called minor premise. They can be used interchangeably. From the two statements, we can get a conclusion. But there are some conditions. One, we must have a common element in the two statements. Two, at least one instance of the common element should have a tick mark to get a definite conclusion. That means if both the common element have cross over them, definite conclusion is not possible. Three, if any of the single statement is negative, the conclusion will be negative. Okay, let's get to the main method. This is called the Aristotle method of solving syllogisms. So we have two statements. We have to get the conclusion. So the first statement is all rabbits have far. So the symbol will be just put rabbit and far. Put the symbol as we have learned before. 
so all rabbit have far the symbol will be tick over rabbit and cross over far and for some pets are rabbits the symbols will be a crossover pet and the crossover rabbit as we can see we have a common element rabbit in both statements uh, in the first statement we have a complete set of rabbit and in the second statement have a subset of rabbit so we can always replace a complete state complete set of rabbit with a subset of rabbit because what is true for all rabbits must be true for some rabbits so we are replacing these two rabbits actually we are replacing the rabbit with tick with the rabbit with cross so the conclusion will be crossover pet and crossover far that means some pet have far so that is the conclusion let's study another example here two statements and two probable conclusions are given we have to find out if the conclusions are true or false based on the given statements in syllogism problems often illogical or unreal statements are given to make it complex and confusing so never bother about the meaning of the sentence just identify the elements in the statements and write the symbol using the first letter or some code you prefer here three elements are present in the statement building chalk and toffee i prefer to use initial letter while deriving the symbol okay so for the first statement all buildings are chalks the symbol will be a tick over b and a cross over c for statement no chalk is toffee the symbol will be a tick mark over both c and t and a colon in between as it is a negative sentence now we have a common element c and one of them has a tick mark over it so it can be replaced by the c cross so the conclusion comes a tick over both b and t and a colon in between so this is the symbol of no building is toffee so first conclusion is true now for second conclusion we can look at the first statement symbol that is b right and c cross so if we reverse it the symbol does not become any of the four standard symbols but as we can replace a b right with a b cross the symbol become c cross b cross which means some chalks are buildings so so the second conclusion is false Now let's take a harder question with different pattern. Here the question contain six statement followed by four choices of combinations. We have to choose the combination in which the statements are most logically related. Now take a notebook and read the statement one by one with me. After reading the statement, write down the symbol for that sentence immediately. Ready? good a some of my closest friend disapprove of me b some of my closest friend are adverb c all of my closest friends disapprove of me d all who disapprove of me are adverbs e some who disapprove of me are adverbs f some of my closest friends are no adverbs as we have wrote down all the symbols let's get rid of the sentences for simplicity of presentation now among options we can see there are visibly two types a and c 
start with BC and B and D start with AB. If we take a look at A and B, we can see a common element F, but as both F has cross over them, no conclusion can be derived. So we left with BC only. B and C also has a common element F and one of them has a tick mark. So it can be replaced by a F cross. Thus we get a A cross and D cross which is a reversible statement. So we can get D cross and A cross. That is the statement E. So B, C, E is the right combination. Before ending the tutorial, let's learn some important tips on syllogism. If a statement all gold are metal is true, some gold are metal is also true. If a statement no trees are metal is true, the statement some trees are not metal will also be true.